How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing these three Paldean Fates Booster Bundles. But before the video starts, I wanted to thank you for 700 subscribers, and as always I'll be doing a giveaway. This time around I'll be giving away two cards to one lucky person. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and comment below your favorite pull of this video. If we're gonna have any, I, ho I do hope we do. Um, but anyways, let's get started with this unboxing, I suppose. I'm actually really hyped about this, because this might be the last Paldean Fates product that I'll be unboxing. I was completely unprepared and did not have my knife with me. So I do apologize for that. Unprofessional, unprofessional. But you know, if I can get this open, there we go, okay. First booster bundle is open. The reason why I haven't been using this playmat as much recently, because my camera has a... What is this? How do you open this? Oh, they they made it differently, I feel like. Oh, so you can use this as like a deck box, not like a proper deck box, okay? They made the opening differently. I think you can also open it like right here as well. Interesting, interesting, okay. That's pretty cool. So yeah, the main reason why I haven't been using this playmat as much recently is because my camera has an issue with the autofocus. Like it can't, it doesn't know when to focus on the cards that are in front of the camera and when to focus on the on the faces in the background. So if that does happen um, a few times here, I might switch my my playmat mid recording. I hope that doesn't happen. Um, I did order a new playmat actually from Pokemon Center Japan, one that I have been after for a really long time. It's the Legends of Hoenn playmat, featuring of course um, Groudon, Kyogre and Rayquaza, so I'm, I'm very very happy when that one arrives. That's gonna be amazing. Let's see, can we add anything in the first booster pack? Nope. Just a holographic, but that's okay, we still have so many left. I really, really want to pull a special illustration, man. I mean, who doesn't, right? Everybody wants to pull a special illustration where it's just that I haven't pulled a single one from Paldean Fates yet, so any I'd be very happy with. Of course, the Mew, I'd be through the roof if we if we pull the Mew, but we'll see. Just one special illustration where I'd be happy that I can happily retire this set and just open it occasionally, just like Pokemon 151. Even though I didn't want to wanted to open that much Pokemon 151. Here we go. We have a card that already has a factory defect. Lovely. Anyways, it is a pull nonetheless. So I can't be mad about that. Here is the code card for that one. And a Glimmit as our first pull. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Let's put you over here. And keep opening these booster packs. But yeah, so Pokemon 151. I didn't actually wanted to open that much. I just kind of, you know, always saw it in, in stock or somewhere and I was like, man, what what the frick? Why not? Why not open like one more? And well, I actually did it up for now. I actually had more luck with Pokemon 151 than I did with um, with Paldean Fates, even though 151 is very, very notorious for having terrible seeding and like the terrible seeding also makes the, the pull rates horrible. Got a nice um, illustration around though, so that's cool. Hey, Paul, me. Let's open this one up. This one was easy to open. That means there is a special illustration around here. I can feel it. I can feel it in me bones. So I think in total, from from all my openings of um, Pokemon 151, I think I pulled like three um, special illustration rares. I pulled the Alakazam twice. You know, once, once in English, once in German, and then I did pull the Charizard from a, from a God Pack, so that was pretty cool. Okay, pulling the Charizard from my Demi God Pack was definitely, definitely a great way to go out. Although I did open it recently, but that was just because, well, that was kind of like the only product my local card store had in stock that was um, decently priced. Everything else was overpriced. Um, glad I did pick that product up though and pulled the Alakazam, one more special illustration rare. And Iron Threats EX, I mean, to be fair though, for this first booster bundle, three pulls, I'd say that's not too shabby, right? I'd say that's pretty good from one booster bundle. That does kind of make me cautious about these other two booster bundles. Maybe we're not gonna pull anything at all. But we shall see. We shall see. 
cottony. We've got a Pineco looking shifty. We've got a Null Gen 3 Pokemon up in this. Very good. Oinkalong. Camerupt. And a Dodrio. Yo, four pulls in one booster bundle. Sign me up for these booster bundles. That's pretty good, right? Four pulls from one booster bundle. I take that. Look at this. That was one booster bundle. And it's all cards I haven't pulled before, other than the Iron Threats. I might have pulled the Iron Threats before, but there we go. I've pulled none of these Baby Shinies, and definitely none of these Illustration Rares. So that was a successful first booster bundle. Not too shabby. Which one can we open next? This one. We're gonna open the one above Cynthia's face next, and hope we get something... Something really, really good in here, like, oh, I don't know, maybe a special illustration rare. If I can make that demand. Let's see, six booster packs, and then we have six more chances. I really do like the new packaging for these booster bundles. You can actually use them properly as a booster box now, as a cheap improv booster box. Probably shouldn't use them too long, although, eh, you probably shouldn't use them too long. If it falls into water, then a plastic one would be better, but then if it does fall into water, you're pretty much screwed unless you double sleeve. With um, hashtag Dragon Shield Receivable sleeves, perfect fits. Those are my favorite. And in combination with like an outer sleeve, they are pretty much your best protection from, um, from water damage. Here we go. Great Tusk. We've pulled the Iron Threats. We've pulled the Great Tusk. Great. All we need now to make this perfect is a special illustration rare. Yes, yes, I do. I do keep going on about that special illustration rare. I'm sure it does exist somewhere out there. I'm sure someone is going to pull a special illustration rare from one of these. Also, I thought about this yesterday, which is something that has never happened to me before. I mean, I had some insane pulls on the channel. I mean, the most insane pull is still to this date that Umbreon that I pulled from the from the Charizard Ultra Premium Collection. But I've opened so many, so many products, and I've never opened, like, two Special Illustration Rares or two Alternate Arts in one video. That's also something I might might want to, to attempt to do, but I would need a lot of packs for that. But two, two in one opening, that would be something, right? I mean, the chances for, for pulling a Special Illustration Rare from each one of these booster bundles is as high as any, right? It's as high as any. We'll see if we can pull some. I see something shiny. That's a Dodunzo. That's another baby shiny I haven't pulled before. That's really good. And a Palafin. I've pulled that one before. Houndstone. And here is the code card. Enjoy that one. That was a double pull from that one booster pack. Not too bad. I definitely pulled the Palafin before, but I haven't pulled the Dodunzo before. So a new pull up in here. Also, the Pikachu, the Pikachu baby shiny. I've pulled that one actually from from the Japanese, um, what was it? Shiny Star, no, Shiny Treasure EX, that's the one. I've actually pulled the Pikachu from, from Shiny Treasure EX, which I was really, really happy about. I was hoping I would be able to pull it from, from Paldean Fates as well, but we'll see. We still have a couple of packs left. Maybe we can, we can get something, something. So far, it's looking, it's looking very rough. I mean, in terms of the special illustration rare, in terms of pulls, it's actually pretty good. I mean, we already have three pulls and we still have two booster packs for that that second booster bundle left. So I'd say that's that's pretty darn good, right? Here we have the Pikachu, a Grievart, a Fan P, looking very happy, Chen Chao, also looking kind of happy. We have a Curlia from Cavallo, Friggybax. We've got a Don Fan, and we've got a Ceru Ledge. Right on. Okay. Well, one booster pack left for, for that booster bundle, and then we only have one left. My chances of pulling a special illustration rare are slowly but surely fading away. Man, who would have thought that I would have way more way more luck with um, Pokemon 151 than Paldean Fates, eh? To be fair, though, I think the pull rates for Paldean Fates are just better in general. The only problem is that there aren't that many special illustration rares that you can pull, right? But what you can pull are these, like, shiny ones, right? 
So I guess that does it. That does make up for it in some some way, one shape or form. All right, one last booster bundle to open for this one. Hopefully there's a special illustration rare in this one. If not, then I would be very, very sad because I don't... I haven't planned to open any more Paldean Fates. This was kind of like my all-in, in a way. Either I pull a special illustration rare from this one or I just don't. But knowing me, I probably won't be able to stop anyways. I'll probably buy a mini tin here and there and open some random packs. Until I get that one special illustration here, we'll see. Um, all the other products, though, aren't really that appealing to me, in a way. Because these premium collections that feature, like, the, the three starters and their evolutions, those ones are cool, but I feel like they are a bit too overpriced for what they are. In my opinion. And I think these booster bundles are probably the, the best way to open this set. So, I don't think I'm, I'm gonna open anything else. Maybe a tin. I've heard the Charizard tins are kind of crazy. Like in terms of, of being popular, of course, it's Charizard. It's the shiny Charizard that you get in a tin. Of course, that would be popular, right? But maybe I'll open a tin, but probably not. I don't have anything planned, but you know, plans do sometimes change. We shall see. Maybe, maybe we can just put that discussion to rest. If I just pull a, a special illustration rare in this one. Rough rough start. Rough start. Two boosters without a pull for this one. I can feel it though. It's it's a rough start, but then at the end the, the pulls are going to be picking up a lot. I can I can feel it in me bones. Like this one, this pack right here. This one right here, this is gonna have a very, very special pull. I do have to check if my, my focus stays the same. So far, it seems to be behaving. Usually, it would have issues with differentiating the cards and the faces behind me. Drift Blim, that's another baby shiny I haven't pulled before. That's another Palafin. Well, I guess we pull, we pull two Palafins in this one. You know, could be worse, could be worse. Drift Blim. At least, you know, as I've said before, at least I pull baby shinies that I haven't pulled before. Like, none of these I've pulled before, so that's good. Let's see, Gimme Ghoul. Got a Lechonk. Execute, that looks cool. Good Shark at it. Gengar, Mousehold. Got a Lantern, a Haunter, a Primeape. And we've got a Nimona! Yo, that's actually pretty cool. That's not too bad. Not a special illustration rare, but I'll take it. Full art trainer. Not too shabby. I also really like Nimona. I think I think a lot of people do. Her special illustration rare from this one is also really cool. There we go. We've got Nimona. That's a really cool card. I actually really, really like this. Nice. Still, still two booster packs left. We'll see if we can get something else in here. Dude, imagine if I pull a full art trainer and I pull a special illustration rare from the same booster bundle. That'd be something crazy. You know, hyping myself up. We're gonna do it. If there's any influence on my part from it other than buying it. Well, I did kind of skip something there. But there we go, Paldean Tauros. That's another baby shiny I haven't pulled before, so I'm not too mad about that one. Professor's Research, and here is the code card. Well, that's four pulls in one booster bundle as well. I think in terms of pull rates, the booster bundles are actually pretty good, In I think. Look at this, four pulls from one booster bundle. Like, the first one also had four pulls, this one had three. I think they are actually pretty good in terms of pull rates. From my limited, from my limited testing right here of three booster bundles. Here we have a Friggy Vex. Let's see what we can find in this last one. You see, that, that's where it starts. That's where the, the focus starts to drop. Hopefully we can get through this last pack without any issues on the focus. Electric Generator. We've got a Natu. We've got a Paldean Student. And we've got a Raichu. Nope. None 
Not a single special illustration rare from all the products I've opened so far of Paldean Fates, but hey, that's fine. That is completely fine. Because would you just look at the amount of pulls we've gotten, even though it isn't... There isn't a single special illustration rare in between here. The amount of pulls, like the sheer amount of pulls, I think are still very, very good. And I do think if you want to open Paldean Fates, like these booster bundles are probably the best way to go about it. Well, but anyways, I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, then give it a thumbs down. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix that for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button. Click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Peace, peace.